Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike and you're watching Detailed Kicks and today we're here to do a performance review and update on the Dunn Issue 1. We used both the Iron Spider and the Stealth Colorway. Before we get started, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet. We got these sneakers back in August, so we've been playing in these for maybe four or five months now. And we love it. The bounce cushioning is tremendously fantastic. We actually prefer this rather than boost because in boost there is an uneasy feeling and court feel is quite difficult but of course impact protection is way better in boost now here in bounce there is a ton of court feel and once you break it in it is very very comfortable granted boost is still live and boost is still more comfortable than bounce but for us while playing we actually prefer bounce over boost on this setup because we get a lot of court feel and we also get some impact protection here from bounce and what i love about bounce as well is it didn't bottom out at all it was quite stiff when we first tried it on but once we've broken it in it was great and it's still great until now so so it hasn't bottomed out even if we've been using it heavily on both indoors and outdoors now going to the traction it is herringbone just a little wavy but still herringbone and we did minimal wiping and it still gripped the floors really well both indoors and outdoors both in clean and a little bit dingy courts it actually escapes me why most brands just don't use herringbone because in our experience herringbone is great and it really does grip the floors well i think maybe the only thing that they could improve on on the dawn issue one when it comes to traction is to space out those herringbone tractions a little bit because since it is quite tight dust is kind of difficult to get out so it's quite difficult to clean but i'm not saying that you need to wipe or you need to clean all the time because we did minimal wiping and it still gripped the floors now going to the upper this is primarily a mesh build with a fuse overlays no fraying at all on the upper as well as the overlays so we didn't have any fraying we didn't have any we didn't have any tears the upper held up really really well even though we used it heavily the upper is really discolored right now because of all the usage but there are no tears and there are no dings and scratches on the mesh the midsole is very very comfortable but of course there are a lot of scratches on the midsole because of just 
continuous use. So overall, I would highly recommend the Dawn Issue 1. Comfort is amazing, traction is fantastic, and the ankle and Achilles support inside the sneaker is more than adequate. It is very comfortable when using them on both indoors and outdoors. And that is it for our review and update on the Dawn Issue 1s. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. This is Mike signing off. Till next time. Detail Kicks. Detail, Detail Kicks, kicks.